Hello and welcome to Vidra Ambrad channel and also welcome is to the series of video tutorials on getting started with the Atas kernel. So, so far we have seen like you know uh, what is an Atas, what is the Atas, what are its features and then we actually uh, move to like you know how we can install the different softwares required for this training series and also I have explained like you know um, so what are the different methods of creating the kernel objects in using a TRTAS and what is a config file uh, what is the use of the config file and then uh, I have also shown you like you know what are the different kinds of examples or uh, projects that are provided by the TR. In this tutorial I am going to show you how we can configure the TR task kernel using a static method. Okay. So as I told you there are three ways that you can create a uh, TR task kernel objects. Majorly I will focus one or two video tutorials on static configuration. So both for uh, MSP432 as well as for the Tivasi and the remaining all the tutorials uh, we will be focusing using the dynamically creation. With that let's proceed. For every R task, the basic configuration or the basic thing that is, is a task creation. Okay. So in this tutorial, we'll see how we can create uh, tasks. Okay. And then how we will uh, assign the uh, the actual code or the functions uh, to the uh, task to run it uh, using the TR task. So we will going to use the dot config file and that too we will use the uh, GUI method uh, which will be used to create the object statistically. Here you can see this is a hello dot config. Okay and this is a GI representation in the right side of the CCS you will see outline where you will have all the options like BIOS, clocks, defaults, errors and uh, hardware interrupts, hardware interrupts related to the hall, okay, ideal method or ideal task, logging, memory, semaphores, software interrupts, tasks. So it's very easy to configure the, um, the task or the kernel objects using the dot config file with the GI method. Okay, so in this what we are going to do is uh, we will create a two tasks. Okay, uh, and with these are the different handles like a task one handle and then task two handle and what is the function that is associated with this task the priority of the task. Okay, and uh, what is the stack size? We will talk about this more uh, when it comes to a dynamic creation of the objects. So what is stack, what it contains and all. For time being, you understand that we need to also provide the stack to a particular task. Okay, and we don't want to put any arguments. Okay, we will keep it as default. Okay, so similarly, we'll create a task two and similarly to provide the task two handle. And here I'm actually assigning a function called task two underscore uh, red LED. So and the priority is also one. Okay, and again, I'm providing a stack size is five. 12 bytes okay and no arguments are passed to this function then when it comes to the uh, the task functions okay uh, the, as i shown you in the above slides so one is the task one underscore green led and the other one is the task two underscore red led and this is the task function so basically we are doing simply blinking of the two leds one after the other okay when the task is created and when the scheduler sees this function to execute it will toggle the led and this is a one of the TIRTAS API call to put the particular task into block mode. We will talk about all the uh, states of a particular task uh, in the later tutorials. And similarly for the task to underscore red LED and uh, the same functionality we are going to use. Okay. So we are going to use two LEDs and we will blink these two LEDs with a delay of uh, 200 milliseconds. And the above task functions are created using TIRTAS. Okay. As I said, uh, we are going to use the TI drivers for the, throughout this video tut tutorial series and if you don't know how to use the TI drivers uh, using a sysconfig file and how to generate the code automatically using the not sysconfig file so I have uh, made a series of video tutorials on uh, how to use the TI drivers using MSP432 please watch that in this series of tutorial we are going to focus only on the RTAS related uh, features not on the TI drivers let's open the CCS in the last tutorial, I have shown how to import the projects from the simple link SDK. And so these are the projects. Let me delete all these things. So now uh, let me show you how to import again. So click on import projects, click on CCS projects under CRC++, click on next and then browse here. So go to MSV, simple link MSV432 SDK and then go to examples. So TRTAS MSP432 feature 1 and SysPyas we will use the hello 
project and again we are going to use the CCS compiler not the GCC compiler okay so let me change this to rename it I get task so this is a static method right so I'm going to give static and then re re rename the dot config file also to task and you can also rename the dot sysconfig file and also the main file so I'll rename this as a main okay So as I said, um, we will have this is the project structure look like like okay all the generated code will be under here okay so since we don't have any generated code uh, it is showing nothing and then uh, we have a debug folder target configs main uh, where it will contain uh, the main okay and the, all the board initializations and uh, there are some things they have covered so we'll remove these things we don't want okay save it and then. Uh, we have a our uh, overview.rvv.json this one we will talk about later and then when it comes to we have a dot config file this is what the configuration file that we are going to use for the tr task configuration okay and this is the sysconfig file which will be used for the ta drivers uh, configuration okay and it will automatically generate the code okay so first thing is first uh, we will going to create the two tasks okay so for that you need to open the dot config file so if you double click on it and uh, you will see all these things it's a kind of a um, javascript file right so today in this tutorial we'll see how we can uh, create the task using a GUI interface so right click on that config file click on uh, open with and then open with the x config file and the moment you open this you will see interface like this okay so the welcome this is a bias welcome page okay even if you, you can also click on this it will show you this one okay and you can read out all this information uh, and the left side you have the project explorer and below that project explorer you have something called available products uh, for this uh, simple link sdk with respect to the xtc tools as well as for the tr tasks okay so all these things like you know bias clocks default error heap memory all these things which you are actually seeing in the outline view can be imported from here so if you expand this di for example i want to see a task okay you can go to uh, sysbias and then go to kernel and then here you can see the task okay and even if you click here or here both are same okay and you see the number of priorities that are configured for the task is 16 and the default stack size is 512 okay and if you don't provide any stack size while creating a, a task objects so by default it will take it from here go to the outline view okay and then right click on that and then click on the new task okay the moment you create the uh, task so it will show here so double click to open here and then you will get all the options required to configure for the task okay so this one i'll give it as a task one handle and the function can give task one underscore green LED okay of course the priority we are going to give is one and the stack size is 512 I don't want to touch the arguments so that's all for the configuration of the task okay save it and as I said we need to create one more so either you can do like this or you can also use this add uh, button to create then one more task so let's create this as a task two handle and then function is and the function is task two underscore red led okay and of course i'm going to give the priority as one stack size is 512 bytes okay and then save it so now we don't see any error in the creation of the task okay so that's all for the creation of the task using the uh, static method with the help of the dot config file in the GUI method. So now the next step is to generate the code for uh, drivers for the both the LEDs. Okay. To configure the TI drivers and generate the code. Okay. And so you need to open the task.sysconfig file. 
so double click to open it I, again i said if you don't know how to use it uh, so please watch my uh, video tutorial series on ms 432 okay where i have explained in detail how to use it and then how to generate the code okay so here so i'll go to leds section click on add so this is fine so i'm going to use the green led okay it will take everything as by default okay and then add one more and then i'm going to use the led one red okay and that's all for the enabling the ti drivers for the led zero and the led one so save it come to the dot main dot c file okay so here you need to create the two functions okay one is the same name that you have uh, like you know given in the dot cfg file okay so in the this one is the task one underscore green led come here and we should also pass the argument and two arguments we need to pass this one is our okay similarly we need to create one more task that is task two underscore red led so save it okay if you want to see the generated files okay so what you have to do is uh, you need to build the project save everything build once even if you have the compilation issues that is fine but build the project so here you can see under sysconfig there are two files that are generated so one is a ta underscore drivers underscore dot config file dot h and this configuration will have all the configurations that we did in the sysconfig file so we need to import this to the main.c file so ash include this is ti underscore underscore config dot h and bias wise you need to also include ti slash sys bias kernel and then task dot h and you need to also import clock function we will talk more about this clock functions and as i said so we need to continuously blink the leds so use infinite loop and then there is a function called okay, gpio underscore toggle and we need to pass the argument so the argument is so you can see always here this is the argument and then we are going to use the task underscore sleep and here you need to provide the ticks the way you need to provide the ticks is as shown here right so so 200 ticks we need to provide which which will correspond to 200 uh, milliseconds and this will divide with this one okay uh, so we will use the same way as it mentioned here we will talk about more about these things okay so this will provide the 200 milliseconds delay okay save this and similarly we need to use it here okay so the config underscore led underscore one and here you need to pass the config leds okay i so go to here uh, sorry you need to pass these things okay not these things okay save the code and then here you need to initialize the one function that is GPIO initialization and then to start the bias there is a, a tr tas APS that is called bias bias underscore start okay this is actually uh, starts the bias okay and we need to import one GPIO header file so ti slash drivers slash gpio dot h so save this code so click on this project and then click on this hammer icon to build the project so the build is successful uh, without any issues okay now we will upload the code onto the msp432 board to upload the code so you click on the project and then click on the debug button and it will change the perspective from crc++ to the uh, debug perspective and here you can see the control uh, halted here okay and then to upload the code you click on this resume button and the moment you click on this resume button the code will be uploaded onto the board and you see that okay only the green led is blinking and the red led is not blinking 
So there is some issue with the code. Let me stop it from the debug mode. Okay, green LED is blinking fine. Okay, here there is no while loop. Okay, let me put that here. Okay, save it. So click on the hammer icon again to build the project. And the project is also built. And there is another way that you can also uh, upload the code onto the board. Okay. So instead of debug button, so you can click on this button to flash it. So it will quickly change to a debug perspective and then flash it. And then come back to the CRC++ project. Okay. Now here you can see, so both the LEDs are blinking uh, with a delay of 200 milliseconds. So that's all about this uh, tutorial. If you like this video, please share, subscribe and share it to your friends and thanks for watching it.